Four former Auburn football players will say tonight on HBO that they were paid to play football. The players say they were given thousands of dollars in cash, whether it was through a handshake or in a bag during the recruiting process and as players. I either want it exposed or I want it exonerated. That's just one radio caller's view on the controversy surrounding Auburn University. Four former football players are going public, telling HBO how they say they were bought. Those players are Stanley McClover, Troy Reddick, Chaz Ramsey, and Raven Gray. The players allege that money was given to them from boosters and alumni. It's nothing new. I mean, it happens every year. Something new is coming up about people uh, taking money here or there. So, you know, it's not, it's not a big shocker to me, just put it that way. But the former players say it wasn't just cash. McClover claims he also got sexual services during his recruitment. Chaz Ramsey says Auburn boosters would approach him after a game and give him as much as $300 to $400 at a time. Brett Eddins, who played with two of the players appearing on the HBO TV special, says he isn't sure if he believes the allegations. It's one of those things you hear about from the 80s and you kind of hear rumors about every now and then, but it, it was never anything that we heard of or, or certainly not anything that we saw. CBS 8 joined the Max Roundtable on Sports Radio 740 to hear what callers had to say about the players and Auburn. As of now, I would say most of them are defending Auburn. And then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, we get people that are saying, okay, well, maybe it is true and maybe Auburn needs to step up and now start to, you know, work on getting lawyers and work on, you know, defending what actually happened. Eddins says he believes some players may be displeased with how their football careers turned out and could be taking their anger out on Auburn. We never got any money. We never heard of anybody getting money and we never saw anybody get money. And, you know, to us, it feels like a lie and that's what makes it, it you know, sticking our crawl so much more. Now, after many calls to Auburn University and the Auburn Athletic Association, officials refused to comment on these allegations by the former football players.